Now you know you like that, don't you? When you can see where you're at? Looks good, man. Got it. Hey, this is Blaze, and I'm here on Spring Street. At what location? The address? 7 729 South Spring Street. 729 and South 7th Spring Street between 7th and 8th. And we're here actually in Gallery Road. Gallery Road is from 2nd to 9th Street, from Spring to Main. However, other than the hive, most people hang out down around 5th. <laughs> so I spoke to the gentleman that drives the truck said this is the most popular spot. So what I wanted to do is come down here first of all to congratulate you oh, on four you years. It, this is the fourth year anniversary. Um, very few entrepreneurs can last that long. I've spoken to two or three different people who are artists here and they all said, hey, Nathan is cool, but all my work sells here. So you must be doing something right. Why don't you tell us a little bit, and I'll be quiet for a while. Okay. Well, the hive is a is a, a lot of things. Um, the hive part of the hive is I have 14 artists that work out of the space, so they sell and make art out of their spaces, and they can they can run their business as they want to. Um, mm. I don't take a commission if they sell stuff. They they run their own business as I do. Mm. So I'm teaching artists how to be business people as well as artists. Cause I like that. The artists like to wall up and make art, but you gotta, I mean, if you wanna do it to try and make a living off it, you gotta be able to sell it. So right. it's, it's like, them how to sell but it. most artists, whether it's painting, being, you know, being in the theater, whatever, they almost always need an agent because when it comes to business, they're a little, I guess they're, they're right, their left hemisphere, right hemisphere so much, and when it comes to business, they can't switch over. Right. So that it's is tough. good. Yeah, it's left brain, right brain. Yeah. So, so bring that balance, because I'm so an artist. So tell us more. Um, first you're also one of the resident artists. I am an artist. That's so, how I got started it. out here. Oh. Um, okay, right here's here. Nathan, the artist, to tell us a little bit about his other business, being a manager of the Hive. You can this start is our logo, the Hive Gallery. Remember it. Uh, this is the theme of the show. Um, the, the denizens of Hiveland. Um, the show is um, uh, an avatar show where artists uh, that have been featured here over the last four years created avatars that live in this world called Hiveland that I created. It's kind of a parallel universe to the Hive. And um, there are seven lands in Hiveland. Um, artists. This is Dark Lands. Yes, this is the Dark Lands. That's 1311. He's been a resident for a long time. 13 what? Uh, his name is 1311. Um, okay. Leanne Hale. She's actually my small wall featured artist this month. You know what? Small, a, small wall featured wall. artist. Yeah. I like that. Okay, let's go on to the... Let's talk a little bit about this. This is a great piece. Christopher Ulrich. Christopher he, Ulrich. Uh, he was our featured artist last month, and I told him about the Hiveland project. Mm -hmm. And he came up with drawings and sketches and diagrams and mathematical equations that all relate to this Hiveland world. And I love this. This is the character that he made. I think we had to get out of the doorway. Uh. Ooh, what's this? This is another featured show that we have called uh, the Global Inheritance Think Big Project. The Global Inheritance I gave 25 thing. artists little recycling bins that Global Inheritance provided, and then this is what the artist created. I'll turn that on for you. Turn it on? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's by Jake. <laughs> These things look like they could just fly away whenever they wanted to. Yes, they have their own life. And they're going to go to Coachella, the Grammys, the Spirit Awards. They're going to travel all over the place. Cool. So now over here... This is the Forest Lands. Forest Lands. I love... Where is this model? She looks so... Uh... Melody Duenas. Ah! Yes, she is quite a talented woman. She's still in school, actually. Fantastic. And uh, that's one to remember. So what do you call this spot right here? Um, this is the heart of the hive. This is where we have performances. Um, artists are encouraged to sit down and relax. And um, our patrons and people come in and listen to music and do their thing in here. The melting pot. The melting pot. That is the third realm in hive. Lands. It's kind of like a swampy zone, and uh, these artists uh, created characters in these swamp lands. Now we hit a place that says Residence Studio. 
Here are the resident, the resident artist studio. And so that's resident that artist. Means. Yes. What that means is these are artists that work out of the space and um, uh, have studios that they run their businesses out of in the space. So this is Walt Hall. He's been uh, with me for a long time. He's one of the artists that started out in, in, uh, in the LA scene. And he's, he does really great work. Hey. This is Sarah's work, huh? Sarah had thrown me up. She's doing um, a lot of like enamel um, coating and epoxy resin coats. And lately she's been doing that's on and hummingbirds and things. And lately she's been doing ones on dominoes like the piece you're looking at. Oh, this is unique. They're actually epoxy resin floors. So what do you think of the hive? Uh, very, very neat. Huh? It's very. Very, I like very that. Different. Oh, very! I thought you said it's very, like as very. in everything. Oh well, yes, that too. Okay, Thank you. you are hired. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, this is Amanda Sage. She just got here from Vienna. Ah, um, unique. She's collected in Colorado museums and some some German museums, and um, she's part of Jimmy Blyer's Temple of Visions. Oh, this is unique. Yes. This is all a temple. Ah, Jimmy a focuses on artists that are uh, visionary artists. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this one. Well, I like a lot of it, but I also like this one, I should say. Yeah, this is all Amanda Sage's work. Wow, so unique. Amazing. How do you get all these great artists in here like this? <laughs> Uh, well, they just they, they just, just come, come out, huh? Yeah, they come to the hive. This is Greg Gold. He Who? Is a, he's a big. He's one of my longest residents of the hive. He uh, makes these crazy lamps. like a fighter. Oh, okay. You like living art. I can't resist. I love this. I mean, it's beautiful. How did you get it on? I had to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking, like, wow. Hit it. This is Nathan Carbright, and thank you for coming to the Hive. And why don't you tell us exactly where the Hive is? The Hive is at 729 South Spring Street, between 7th and 8th. Uh, we're uh, on the Gallery Row Art Walk, and uh, we'd love to have you. Every what do you do every Wednesday night? Every Wednesday is our movie night. That's a free night. We have popcorn and uh, movies. Every first Saturday is our big opening. What are we showing next week? Do we know? Uh, we do not know what we are showing. But whatever it is, it's going to be superb, cutting edge. It'll What's your style that you like to show here? We like to show artsy films. We like to push it. We ask Old Bank Video, which uh, Old Bank DVD, which is our... So people can come in here and just get comfortable and relax and watch a movie every Wednesday? Yes, you got it. Fantastic. First I want is our big opening. That's the first Saturday of the month. It's the Hive show and performances. And that's all new art every month for Saturday. Well, you know, of course, that I have much bigger plans for you than you have for me, but this is a great beginning, and I appreciate the interview. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.